Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Nimi Joychan from Informatica Global Customer Support and I will be taking a short support video on how to perform backup and restore operation in a metadata manager warehouse. This is a list of topics I'll be covering in this short video. First is a set of guidelines to be followed uh, when you do this operation then followed by a short demo on how to perform backup and restore operations which is followed by a short summary and at the end is how, how you can submit feedback for our support videos. Backup command line as the name suggests is the command line utility which is used to perform both backup and restore operations for a metadata manager warehouse. Unlike Power Center repository, there is no option to do a backup and restore operation from the administrator client for a metadata manager service. The first one shows the syntax which is used for backup operation. So when you execute this command, it basically backs up all the tables in the metadata manager repository, including the metadata manager warehouse, profiling information, models, users and groups, and all the user information such as shortcuts and preferences. The second one, as you can see, is the syntax which is used for restore operation. So this one creates all the tables in the metadata manager repository and then restores the contents. In case if a table already exists in the repository, it drops all the tables, creates the table and then restores the contents. I will uh, let you know about few of the changes which have been made to backup command line. So effective in version 901, there was an additional option called commit interval. So this is applicable only for the restore command. This can have any values and it specifies the number of rows to use as a basis for commits to the repository. So if you use a value 0, it is going to do a commit at the end of restoration. The default value of this parameter is 10,000. Another change uh, since version 9.1 is that it has an additional parameter called task. So the value of the parameter determines whether it's going to be a backup operation or a restore operation. So earlier releases for this command, uh, it used to be just backup command line backup, uh, which used to do the backup operation, and it used to be backup command line restore, which used to do the restore operation. The third one uh, is the number of threads. So as you can see in the syntax for both backup and restore, there is a parameter called n threads. So default value of this used to be 1, but effective from version 9.1 hotfix 3, it has been increased to 5. Another thing to notice when you do a restore operation is that you have to use exactly the same version for the backup command line utility. Uh, as the backup file used. So if you have a uh, say 951 hotfix 2 backup file of a metadata manager warehouse, you have to have 951 hotfix 2 utility to restore it. Otherwise it ret returns error. You also have to be careful about case sensitivity. So two, two areas are, first one is a value for task parameter. So if you say backup, the first alphabet has to be in capital B. Same is the case for restore. Um, so I would advise you to have a look at the documentation to check on how the value should be entered in the command. So same is the case for the value of parameters DB type. It is case sensitive. Backup command line utility can be invoked from both the server and the client. So this is a location on a server where Infra Home, Services, Metadata Manager Service, Utilities, MM Backup Util. So this location is called the script backup command line.sh. This is a sample uh, I am using in order to do a backup operation. So as you can see, uh, this example is for an Oracle database. So I'm using the parameter backup, the database type I'm specifying as Oracle. 
Now for JDBC URL, for all the supported databases, the syntax is available in documentation. So for this example, I'm specifying the server, port number, and the SID, which is followed by the value for parameter user, the password of the database user, and the file which is to be created um, when the backup is performed. Now as you can see it, uh, it has started and it lists the version and it uh, writes the output to the screen. If you want you can even write the output to a file. So now as you can see the backup operation is completed successfully. This is another location on the client. Uh, where you can find the backup utility so which is in clients power center client command line utilities mm mm backup util folder as you can see um, I have copied over the restore command is almost similar to the backup command except that uh, I'm using uh, an optional parameter called commit so here also I'm specifying the database type the JDBC URL, uh, I'm using Oracle here. I'm restoring it to this particular Oracle server with this particular port. Um, and this is a user and password of the database uh, schema. And this is the file. So I have this file already present in the location uh, from where I'm invoking this command. So if we do not specify a complete path for file, uh, for, so this is applicable for both restore and backup it would pick up the file from it would expect the file to be in this location now this is just to demonstrate the message you receive if you use a backup file which has a version completely different from the utility you're using so as you can see the backup file version I'm using is 951 hotfix 1 the utility version is 951 hotfix 2 you have to be um, careful uh, as it comes back with restore task completed successfully message but uh, if you look further you can see that backup file version does not match with current repository version this is a message uh, which you receive so once you have uh, restored a backup file uh, you can go ahead and create a metadata manager service pointing to the database user uh, and corresponding details which you entered when you perform the restore operation. So if you have any uh, further questions, um, you can always refer to the Metadata Manager Administrator Guide. So for version 951 Hotfix 2, it is chapter 13. Uh, you can also find some KB articles related to this utility. Thank you for your time listening to this support video. Um, if you have any feedback, please do send us uh, to our email supportvideos at informatica.com uh, you can also um, contact us through twitter at infasupport